Jenny Smith says she'll tell delegates about increasing neighbourhood policing. Well, you know, of course people are worried. In 1927, the French line launched a stunning new flagship, the Ile de France. At over 43,000 tons, she was the largest ship built since the war. It was Americans who particularly fell under her spell, from movie stars to intellectuals. And a new breed of class-conscious American businessmen cashed in their stocks for a first-class ticket to France just to be seen in the presence of Europe's social elite. It was like walking into the fanciest hotel you'd ever been in your life. Marie is trying to get us invited onto the captain table. Je ne peux pas y croire. You know how cheeky she is. His table is at the foot of a huge hunting scene, Ile-de-France région. There is a fountain of gold and silver pipes in the middle of the restaurant, which blows cool hair. It is a beautiful dining room. Everywhere is marble clad with beautiful strong art deco lines. It was midnight before we cast off, as we plunge into the pitch blackness of the Atlantic. The dancing will go on all night. The men in their tuxedos and the women in their chiaparelli dresses and silk stockings. I can feel the deep throb of the engines, 